Um, hello, so uh, we have already seen uh, to use uh, some of the basic things in JavaScript like uh, creating uh, variables and uh, creating functions and calling functions. So uh, now we're going to take uh, an in-depth look at uh, some of uh, the topics like strings, arrays, um, objects uh, and functions. So let's start off with strings. Mm, like uh, you have already seen is that uh, with strings what we can do is uh, we can do uh, let uh, str equal to this is a string and if we uh, print this it's going to be like console.log uh, str and uh, it's going to look like this when we uh, run it. Okay, so this is a string uh, gets printed. Uh, now, strings uh, can be uh, described with uh, both uh, single quotes as well as uh, double quotes. Now, if you use uh, single quotes, that means uh, that we would need to uh, escape uh, some of the contents of a string if uh, we write something like this is. Uh, uh, Arnav's uh, string. Now if you write that, so uh, the string would end here and uh, this part of the string would not be considered. So uh, to take care of that, uh, what we do instead is uh, we use escaping. We can escape characters using uh, the forward slash. So uh, this way we can have like uh, this. You can see this is Arnav string. Right. Uh, we can also use uh, another uh, format uh, which is called uh, this, uh, the backticks. Now when we uh, create strings with backticks, now uh, just uh, keep in mind that this is only available since ECMAScript uh, 6 or ECMAScript 2015. So this is something that will not work with uh, very old browsers or very old uh, instances of Node.js like Node.js 4 or below. Uh, now with backticks, what we uh, get is we can have templates. Now. Uh, the benefit of that is, uh, let's uh, talk about this, uh, let person equal to, uh, or let's uh, let p equal to uh, Arnav. So we can write something like this, this is a uh, dollar. And this is how we escape variables inside a template string. This is uh, p's string, okay? So p I have taken and uh, this using uh, dollar with curly braces means that uh, anything written inside this this p is going to be treated like the value of the variable p. So when we run this, as you can see, exact same stuff gets printed. Okay, and that's how uh, we uh, generally just um, write uh, down strings. Uh, what all uh, can we uh, do with strings? Uh, we can also uh, use uh, if a string is very long, uh, we can use line breaks. Uh, let uh, long str equal to uh, this is uh, a very long string okay so we can write it like this uh, line breaks can be uh, used using the forward slash uh, character if you run this you'll see that oh sorry uh, let's print the value of uh, long str This is a very long string. Now you see that uh, the string was written in multiple lines, but uh, these are not treated like new line characters. That gets treated only if you use a slash n, okay? Uh, this uh, happens only if you use a slash n. Now you'll see that this is a very long string. You get a line break here, okay? Uh, so uh, if you want a line break in the string, you want an actual line break inside the string, you will need to use uh, the n escape, the new line escape. Uh, just uh, writing a single uh, forward slash means that the string is getting continued onto the next line, but it does not mean that your actual string will contain a new line. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, let's uh, go forward and uh, take uh, a look at uh, some of the things that we can do with the uh, string, some methods that are there in the string. Um, uh, to begin with, uh, the very first thing is uh, we can have. Uh, uh, string dot length. String dot length tells us how long this string is. So you can see uh, 27 is the length of this string. Uh, the length of str is uh, 22. The length of uh, p is going to be 5. Okay. So uh, you can get the length of uh, strings uh, like this. Now, uh, how about uh, finding strings inside uh, strings? Uh, so how we can be searched, so uh, let uh, 
let s equal to uh, this has some data here uh, let uh, keyword is uh, has so can we search if uh, s has uh, this key or not so we can do that using uh, s dot uh, index of key okay um, when we do that uh, it will see that uh, the value is 5 which uh, tells us that has uh, is present and it is at the fifth position okay now if I turn it to have uh, now this have does not actually exist inside the string so if we search for something that does not exist then the answer is uh, minus 1 okay so a good way to check if a string contains another string is to check if the index of is minus 1 or not if it is minus 1 it does not contain it if it is uh, any other positive value uh, starting from 0 uh, then it means that uh, the key is contained inside s okay now uh, how about uh, something like this uh, this is a uh, easy job and now we want to check for uh, oh, let's remove key we want to check for whether this has the value is or not okay so if you run this um, what we're going to get is obviously 2 because uh, is uh, exists uh, right here uh, which is uh, position number 2 right um, so uh, what we instead want is that uh, we want uh, to check where the next position of is is so we want to do that uh, index of is always going to return the first position but the index of function also takes a optional secondary argument so if I use the argument 3 here and uh, search again you will see we get the position 5 which is the correct position for this instance of is uh, how does this work uh, so index of uh, takes so uh, the second argument basically uh, tells us uh, the position from where it is going to search uh, next so if I uh, give the value of uh, okay uh, 3 it means that uh, we're going to search from position number 3 and forward uh, so if I give the value as 1 here then the answer would still be 2 because uh, after one at position number two there is uh, a place where is is uh, starting but if I give the value of uh, say four here so that means it's going to uh, start searching from position number four and uh, forward uh, so how is this index is calculated uh, let's uh, take a look uh, basically so you have this uh, uh, string say uh, like this uh, a b c d e this is your string uh, so you take the positions basically uh, like this uh, this position is 0 this position is 1 and this is 2 this is 3 so if index of uh, returns uh, say 2 it means that the string that you are searching for starts from this position okay this is the required string that you are searching from okay um, also uh, when uh, we are basically uh, trying to uh, search a string and uh, say we have uh, this uh, string here we have um, we have something like uh, a b c a b d b a b okay and if you want to search for uh, a b uh, if we uh, don't provide any argument to index of it means it's uh, going to uh, start searching from this position and it's going to find a b here which means the value return would be zero okay um, but uh, if I provide uh, something like this if I do uh, index of uh, a b and the second argument I give as two which means uh, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2 so it will start searching from this position from here it's going to find that this is the a b that's going to find so it's going to return uh, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 so this is the position 3 right so this is what you will uh, be returned from this index of uh, query so that's how uh, index of uh, works okay 
coming back uh, to other things that we can uh, do, uh, we can also have a function called last index of. So uh, let us uh, consider uh, this uh, string instead. Uh, let s2 is equal to Okay. Um, in this uh, kind of a string, if I want to search s dot index of uh, a b, and um, obviously what I'm going to get is uh, zero because the first uh, value itself is a b. Um, then uh, obviously I can search for the next index of a b uh, using a b one, and that's going to return me uh, the value four. Is the next place where it is available is at number four. Uh, how about I want to find out the last place where it exists so I can do it as last index of last index of a b and if I uh, do last index of a b I run it I get uh, 17 um, 17 is the last place so if I run it uh, 16 uh, so in that case I will get the position that's before 17 so using the last index of also you can search for either the very last position of a b or a b existing in any, any position uh, before that Okay, 